Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and another super motivating video. At least I really hope this video is motivating for you. This is a three day whole house extreme clean with me and I'm talking, it's pretty extreme. Probably the most extreme ever. We are going to be deep cleaning some really gross things. I'm gonna be cleaning all over my house, the basement, the upstairs, the main level, and I'm even going to go outside and do some deep cleaning out there. I'm also going to be cleaning my Dyson vacuum, so taking it apart, cleaning it all out. So I promise you, this video is going to get you up, get you moving, and get you motivated to get some things done. So I got started upstairs by making my bed. I had a load of laundry from the night before that I also wanted to get folded because I knew I'd have more laundry to do today. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. And then I was going to wash my kids bedding. And I was planning on going downstairs when I was done. I wanted to clean up my disaster living room and disaster basement. Wait to see how the basement looked. Our basement was just it was, it needed some cleaning. So I'm gonna clean all of that up before day two going outside. And I'm gonna be using the power washer to deep clean outside of the house, deep clean some outdoor furniture and cushions, wash my outside windows, as well as take apart and deep clean my disgusting Dyson vacuum. And then I have day three, I'm going to be deep cleaning my sink drain and it was super gross. So a lot coming up. Here's a little sneak peek of what you're going to see here soon. Deep cleaning outside, power washing the house, the outdoor furniture, washing outdoor windows, deep cleaning my gross Dyson vacuum and scrubbing a disgusting sink. So get ready for a lot more motivation. So here I am cleaning the mess by the girls high chairs because they when they eat they get pretty messy because they're one and food gets all over the, the side of the cabinets, the wall, the baseboard. So I was just using some warm, almost hot water and then some Dawn dish soap to clean all, all of that up. And I find that this does best on the walls and the cabinets when they're really, really dirty and things are caked on there because it breaks everything up, but it doesn't take off the paint on the wall either. Two wrongs don't make one 
I do want to thank you all for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I know you're all busy, you all have things going on in your lives, and the fact that you're taking time to watch my videos, I thank you for that. And I hope that you can take something away from this video or any of my other videos. Hopefully they're motivating and inspiring to you. Hopefully you feel like we're friends, cleaning together, whatever it is. I hope you take something positive away from today's video but i'll go ahead and introduce myself if you're new i'm jamie i've been married to my husband for 11 years we are high school sweethearts we've known each other since middle school we have three daughters a five-year-old and twin almost one and a half year olds so they'll be one and a half at the end of september and i started documenting my infertility journey here on youtube about three years ago and my channel has kind of evolved and changed over time so i'm glad you're here i hope you will think about subscribing and hitting the red subscribe button i have a lot of fun videos planned for the fall i cannot wait to share them all with you so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when they get posted also there will be a get to know me playlist some of my more personal videos if you want to get to know me on a personal level i'll have it here and also linked in the description So your tears been running like a waterfall Thought the stars would never let you down And you keep on thinking you could save yourself But that's love, that's just love You should know some things will hurt So Avery was visiting um, her grandparents and the twins were napping. So Mike and I decided to get some stuff done on day two. The plan was to use our power washer on the front porch, the siding of the front porch, and then the overhang. And we were first going to use the soap function of the power washer. So you go through and use the soap and then you go over it with the actual power washer again. And then I was planning on deep cleaning the outdoor furniture that's on the front porch and the cushions, as well as the water table that the twins use. So a lot of outdoor things that I've been putting off. Make sure you guys come over and find me on Instagram. It's Jamie Lynn's with an S dot journey. It's also linked below. Come over there. I share more of my life, you know, more day to day stuff. And it's just really fun connecting with you guys over there. So come find me.
This water table the twins got for their first birthday a couple months ago back in March and Avery had one that we didn't really keep up with cleaning it or anything and it didn't last long. So with this water table I want to make for sure it lasts a good amount of years for the twins so I want to keep maintaining it and making sure it's washed. I have hand scrubbed and hand cleaned these cushions and the chairs before, which I don't mind doing, but the power washer makes it a lot easier. The job goes quicker and it's also a lot of lot more fun. It'll be really hard for you guys to tell on camera just because the camera doesn't pick up all of the dirt or bugs or cobwebs or whatever was out here um, so it was hard for you guys to see the before and truly how shiny it looks after but Mike and I were just talking that we we think um, Mike and I were just talking and there is a big difference especially in this white part right here a lot whiter a lot cleaner and then I notice I even feel like our siding just stands out more and it's a little brighter than it was before so very happy with the power washer So this was something that I didn't really plan on doing, but I figured while I was out here, while we had the hose out front and everything away from the windows, I might as well give them a good cleaning. And if you are not new to my channel, then you, you've you seen me do this before. And I have this window cleaning tool with a little squeegee on one side and then like a window washer scrubber microfiber cloth on the other side. It's amazing. I love it. I think I got it from Lowe's, but I will have a link down below. It just makes cleaning windows super easy.
and even around the windows like the window sills and the white trim as well and keep watching i was cleaning the windows and then i saw a huge spider on the window and i freaked out and i have it all on camera so you guys can kind of laugh at me i hate spiders by the way and it absolutely freaked me out So something I've needed to do for a long time is clean my Dyson. Oh, I set that towel down. So it hasn't been working super well. I've talked about it here on my channel. And so I want to clean. I have some hair and strings in there. I will link the YouTube video down below in the description that I used and that we followed to clean all of this. I will tell you that if you have a Dyson like this, you want to be careful not to get, there's like these two little silver prongs in the canister. The clear part with the, when the lid comes up, you don't want to get those wet. So you just can't throw everything, you know, in water or run it under water. So they talk about that in the video, but again, I will have that video linked down below and you can carefully follow each step by step on how to properly clean out the Dyson but I thought the transformation was pretty amazing to see how gross and dirty it was it's honestly embarrassing and I mean obviously I clean a lot but I definitely don't get to everything Saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came and sat right next to me Your eyes they glowed and filled me So I couldn't find a good way to get into the head part of the Dyson. It was so dirty and it had like caked on dirt. So what I decided to do was take some rubbing alcohol and use some cotton rounds to get in there. And at first I was using paper towels, but I think that ended up being too thick. And the cotton rounds ended up being perfect because they're small, perfect size. And it soaked up the rubbing alcohol and the rubbing alcohol just wiped everything away it did a good job of cleaning everything off all of the dirt in there with minimal scrubbing you saw right through me that day i was lost in space but you pulled me down and wiped away those cloudy thoughts i could see the sky when you were close to me i can't believe what you It is day three and I'm gonna be finishing up this whole house clean with me. But I wanted to show you guys the newly cleaned Dyson. So we have used it a couple of times um, since we deep cleaned it, but obviously it looks so much better, so much cleaner. Um, I think I'm mainly happy with how this turned out because it was so caked with dirt and dust and stuff. But the bad part is it still shuts down. So when I'm using it, um, it's been like this for a while. So I'll use it, it stops, 
and then I can put it on the charger for 30 seconds, that's all, and then it works again. So it's so weird, and the blue light blinks, um, so I think our next step is we are gonna call Dyson. I'm hoping it's still under warranty and I really really like this I don't know what the issue is. We've obviously done all of the troubleshooting. We've deep cleaned it So the next step is to call Dyson. So I will keep you updated, but I'm gonna continue my cleaning And get this house cleaned up As I was putting things away, actually earlier in the day, I had noticed how gross the drain was on my side of the sink. Mike likes to say it's from all of my junk. He's making a joke, but like junk, like skincare and hair stuff and makeup, all of that goes down the drain and kind of clogs it up. And I think that's what all of that is. So what I did was I sprinkled some baking soda and um in some vinegar in a bowl and let that kind of bubble up and break up some of the gunk that was on there and then i was going to go in and scrub it with a cleaning toothbrush well i guess a regular toothbrush but just a toothbrush that i set aside for cleaning um, but i also did the same thing with the drain and it was so gross because so much crap <laughs> was coming out of there The baking soda and vinegar did a really good job of breaking most of it up and it, I really didn't have to scrub too hard with the toothbrush to clean it all off. So if you guys have not seen my last video that went up, because you guys will probably be seeing this on Sunday, well if you go and check out, I'll have like it right here, I'll have it, also have it linked down below, so if you're done watching this, you can go check that out. But I completely purged, decluttered my master closet and it felt so good. It had been a while since I had done that, but I literally took like all of my clothes out, like I unhung them. I went through everything, all of my clothes. I hung them back up, put them in white hangers so it looks more cohesive. I got a lot of stuff off of like the bottom area and it just, there's more room in the closet, not that I need more room, but more room I was able to get rid of and donate a lot of clothes and just refold everything, just make everything look nicer, just get rid of things. And it honestly felt so freeing and so good. So go check that video out. The whole process is there. It's definitely a satisfying closet declutter and makeover, but I'll kind of show you what I did. So I'm gonna come in here and vacuum in a minute. Um, but I had like clothes 
but I had like clothes all hung here that would like hang on the floor. And then I would, I had shoes like all the way under here and I would never be able to vacuum under all of that. So I was able to get some shoe racks, put all of our shoes up there and just get rid of a lot of clothes that I haven't been wearing, refold things and just make everything look nicer. So definitely go check that video out. Um, it's definitely one you don't wanna miss. This weight on my shoulder is slowing me down. I don't know how it came about. And while the world is spinning faster every night, I feel I'm stuck in reverse somehow. But it ain't no one's fault that I am stuck here. No one to blame this on. Feeling so hopeless. I keep on pouring salt on. a little break and with it being about mid-august i am curious are you guys ready for fall i feel like it's a big thing on youtube all the girls love fall and i am one of those i love fall i hate to say it but i probably enjoy the fall season more than i do the christmas season i don't know why but i just feel like the christmas season is so crazy and hectic and it's short so everything is smashed into like a month ultimately and I just love everything about fall. I love the cooler air. I love the football although we're not gonna have football this year at least college football in Ohio. Um, I just love the leaves falling. I just love the coziness. I love it all and I can decorate and I don't have to feel guilty about buying decorations because they last three months. I don't know, I love fall, I'm ready for it. So let me know down below if you guys are ready for fall and if you're ready for me to decorate, I am excited. Um, you guys know decorating really isn't my thing, it's not something I truly enjoy, but I do really enjoy decorating for fall. It's fun for me because I enjoy the season so much. So I don't find it overwhelming at all. So let me know if you guys are ready for a clean and decorate, fall decorate with me. Um, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Even though it's August and it's still like in the 90s, I am ready for it. So let me know down below if you're ready. And also let me know when you plan on decorating for fall. Like do you wait like late August, do you wait until September? I know it probably depends on where you live. Like for us, it doesn't get fall like weather until about late September, probably early October. That's when it really feels like fall. It's probably pretty mild um, through mid September here. Uh, so I'm sure if you live in the South or like way out West, it's probably a little bit harder for you to get into the fall spirit just because it probably stays pretty warm um, throughout those months. But anyways, let me know when you're planning on decorating for fall and I'm excited. So if you're ready for some fall decorations, fall decorate with me, then get ready, coming up. Then I moved on to the laundry room where I was going to pretty much deep clean this room. I pulled everything out and this is where we keep our litter box for our cat, Chase, and then the pet food. So all of that was already re like mo removed from the room and this room is usually jam packed. Um, so I went in after I removed everything. I wanted to wipe down the washer and the dryer, um, the sink, I vacuumed clean the grout and mopped but to clean my grout this is something i love doing um it makes cleaning grout so much easier but i just use resolve foaming carpet cleaner to clean the grout and it just you let it sit on there i spray it i let it sit for you know like 20 minutes or so and it does a really good job and it kind of cleans the grout for me and then i can go in and, and scrub if i have time if not it's not the end of the world but it's one of my favorite ways to clean grout Trying to pull me out But how to 
tired of the drama. You use your words like they are knives. And then after the laundry room, I moved on to the girls' bathroom. And I was just doing a very basic clean here because at this point, I was over the three days of cleaning and I just wanted to be done. So I just wiped down the vanity. The bathroom really doesn't get used a ton because, you know, yeah, we have three kids, but the twins don't really use this other than taking a bath, you know. So it's pretty much just Avery using the bathroom, you know, brushing her teeth and occasionally going to the bathroom in here, but she doesn't even go to the bathroom very often um, in here because she uses the bathroom downstairs or our bathroom. So this room doesn't get messy, doesn't get too dirty. So I just wanted to do a quick wipe down and then vacuum. Down, I will always get up again. You're looking at me so cold. Get over yourself, are you for real? Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is now we're enemies. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong. I'm ready for the rematch. Then it was time for my nighttime cleaning session, vacuuming and mopping. And I've really been in a kick um, of using my old Dyson to vacuum carpets, but I still wanted to use the cordless Dyson for the kitchen. It's just so much easier to use because it gets under the lip of the cabinets, but I love using the old Dyson for the carpets. And I think it's because it gives better vacuum lines and I can, I just love the visual look of the vacuum lines, but the one thing I hate, it is so heavy. 11 years old, so heavy. But I kind of put up with it because I want those vacuum lines. But that's going to be it for today's video after I am done mopping. Please give me a thumbs up if you found this video motivating. Make sure you're subscribed and also make sure you have the notifications turned on. So something I would suggest doing is if you do have the notifications on, try undoing the notification bell and then redoing it just to make for sure it, it really registers. I've had a lot of you message me lately and say that you've been unsubscribed from my channel or you're not getting the notifications. So maybe try doing that to make for sure you get the notifications. I... I have a lot of fun videos coming up here um, for the fall. Like I'm so, so, so excited. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have the notifications on so you get notified. Even though I didn't clean all day, if you guys stick around and you're here at the end and you see how horrible I look at the end of the day, my hair's a mess, my makeup's running. The house is clean and I'm good with that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much. Make sure you stay tuned. I have a lot of fun fall videos coming up and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.